since I've been on Twitch, haven't I? And when I play a game and I'm streaming on Twitch, the players seem to get a little bit strong. I did an exercise yesterday where I said, well, I'm going to have no sleep until I reach 1600 in Blitz. I can't stand Blitz, but I'm wanting to develop in Blitz, so it's part of my motivation. So, I played a few games prior to coming onto Twitch, and I'd done my recordings um, separately, you know, via the screen recorders. And the games were there were thereabouts quite good, more advantageous for myself, so it's quite good. So we were climbing quite nicely. And I thought, right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go in onto Twitch, and I'm then going to actually play the games. I know exactly what's going to happen, but I just wanted to see it for myself. So then I came on, and my god the players suddenly were really strong i did make some errors in some of the games but the majority of them the players were very strong and it was the same categorized um, ratings that i was playing against so i came off and then continued the exercise with my screen recorder and then i took the screen recorder off so i just focused on everything and i achieved the 1600 so the players seem to be playing normal um, when I wasn't playing on Twitch. So that throws in this question here now. So I've reached 1600. <laughs> I've reached 1600 in Blitz. But I'm going to test it out again today here. So I'm willing to drop right back down again. You know, 15, 10 or whatever it is, right? Yeah. Just to kind of prove a point. Now I'm not losing on purpose. I am playing my proper game here. So, what I'm trying to aim for is maybe like the 1650 mark. I mean, that's, that's a long way off, so I'm, I'm supposedly going to lose a few matches. But I'm going to test it out. I just want to have a look and see what actually happens. Now I'm on Twitch. If something's triggered off somewhere and it says, right, let's go make this guy look like an idiot. So, we're going to start being super. So, I'm actually going to start a few games of Blitz. Like I said, can't stand Blitz. But I can't stand supers either. So let's have a look and see what we do. <laughs> I'm testing it out, Julio. You know me, I like to experiment. <laughs> it bloody makes me sick, I tell you. Anyway, right. Let's have a look at this situation here. So we're on here. And let's scroll through. And I'm going to create a game. And I just want to see, if I make a mistake, I make a mistake. That's my fault. Bullet? <laughs> Dude, you know, I, can't, I really, really can't stand bullet. But it is part of my process of development. Um, the blitz and the bullet, you know, I'm, I'm looking at trying to develop in that area. Um, that one will probably be later on today or tomorrow. You, you're pushing my buttons now. You're pushing my buttons. But definitely on bullet playing on Twitch. Uh, I get all sorts of supers and everything. I play a lot better when I'm not actually on Twitch. It's really weird. Why do they become superpowers all of a sudden when they're on Twitch? I don't know if anybody else has had this experience, but I have tested it and it does happen. So I'm going to create a game for this Blitz. Three minute Blitz, zero increment. And we'll see how we get on. I don't want any supers. I want to get to the 1650 with the Blitz. Okay, all fair and square. I'll take down this. <laughs> nice one. Right, so the rating range, 1600. There, I'm not going any higher. And I'm clicking. And it's rated. Off we go. Twitch, help me out here. Don't give me any supers. Right, let's see what we've got. So we've been working on things. The last thing that we did was, has he just aborted? Oh, they must have heard me. Okay. Right, so I've clawed up five points there for doing nothing, but I don't want to win like that. Okay. Right, let's go again. So we've been working on, the last thing was emotional content uh, within the moves. And basically that is like trying to say to us, did that abort as well? Is it me? Why is it not moving? What? Hmm. Does Lightchess have a link to um, Twitch or something? And have, have I upset them? New opponent. 
Okay, let's go. Right, okay, let's go then. Um, push through the center. So emotional content, basically looking at the decisions that we're making with our moves based on the answer process. Uh, let's go here. So the emotions do play a big part in the final result of the move that you make. So let's push on to this bishop here. Shall we take here? And he's moving really quick. Okay, let's go here. Let's take with the knight. Let's take his knight. Don't really want to play about. Let's bring this bishop here. Any gold, any gold, any no. Um, do, 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 do. So, let's have a look where the queen wants to go. Other side of the board for now. Swing across. Okay, so we've got the long pause now. So, okay, so he's attacking. So, let's bring this... Uh, yeah, let's bring this here. Maybe come here. So, he's opened up his rook. So, let's just put the check on with the bishop. Got space to squeeze in here with ours. Don't like this pawn being here. Looks like he's trying to do something here. Um, let's attack the rook. See where he wants to go. How do we get to his king? That's the issue, isn't it? I want to come across now and just take this. Try and get my queen into his king area. It's not set in stone though. It's just oh, he's grabbing. Oh dear. All right then. Piece for a piece, he's gone for. Um, let's go here. Need to get the rook into the game, don't we, somehow? Let's go here. Oh, if we could just get this pawn here, like this, and then here. Oh, he's attacking me already. So, let's bring this back here. Don't panic too much. We're set for coming here, getting maybe the other rook off the board. Oh, Bishop Blocker. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Okay, let's take. And let's bring this rook up here. Oh, I could have faced off his queen. Damn, missed opportunity. Let's put a check on the king. And let's go for a checkmate. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. That was nice. Okay. There we go. I think I'm going to take a break now. <laughs> okay. But usually find it's the first first game, second game, and then after that, then the supers seem to somehow kick in. Uh, they find out that you're on Twitch or whatever it is. And I, I'm not even anybody. You know? <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, but I'm not anybody. And what we're looking at is the emotional side of things. Those are the things that make, <laughs> make us make the appropriate decisions based on the answer process. All the things that we're talking about is pressuring the king, the king area, key spaces, attacking the key pieces, and then also attacking hi uh, higher pieces with lesser pieces, really focusing in on working the pieces together. That is a key thing for me um, in terms of practicing the answer process. And then basically we're looking at the four move calculations as well, calculating the like four moves ahead. When in these fast games, it's so hard to do that, you know, and I don't know how, you know, people do it, you know, and they're doing the narration as well and the talking and they're, they're looking so cool and stuff. Um, and they play really well and they just like explain stuff as they're going through. And I'm like thinking in a three minute game, how can you do that? But I'm getting there myself, but I play better when I don't do narration. Last thing we focused on before the emotional content was the potential value of the move and making it a, an appropriate move, a key move that links in quite nicely with the characterizations that we'd covered um, just recently regarding what the rating levels sort of perform like and how you can sort of react to the rating level. Um, it's a generalization because not all rating levels play that way. Um, but the recent videos that we've done have just highlighted some very key areas um, that um, players do play like within like the 1500, 1300, 1400, etc. So 
this was a nice one to start off with but i am not in any way shape going to be celebrating too much because we know the supers kick in i don't want them to i want to stay on twitch i think it's a nice a nice sort of um platform but man wow the supers yesterday were really kicking in I'm gonna go for the next one and again i can always make mistakes so i'll hold my hand up when i make a mistake the pressure sometimes gets you. Okay, let's go here. Uh, ooh, interesting times. Let's go here. I'm going old school. He's going old school on me. Okay. Let's go here. See if he wants to exchange or does he want me to? He wants to develop his night. Well, fair does. I'll let him do that. Let's go here. It's going to come down attacking the pawn here. Yeah, that's all pretty basic stuff. Um, I could push on here. Or I could just let him have the pawn, couldn't I? Interesting. One would say I've probably made a mistake there. But you know what? I'm actually going to push here. Okay, and then I'm going to attack the bishop. And then I'm going to attack the bishop again. And again. So he's no longer there. So... That means we can actually bring our bishop out. Oh, do you know what would be fun though? Let's attack this knight first. It's chomping at the bit to attack our knight. Let's take his knight off the board. And shall not bother castling, just um, support the knight. Could have moved the knight actually, but feeling okay with that. And last but not least, time is running out. Let's go here. Two minutes and four. I need to catch up on time now. Let's bring this knight back. I'm going to lose the pawn. Why am I going to lose the pawn? I'm always losing something, aren't I? Okay, let's go here. And let's go here. 154. Yeah, I think I messed this up, but he may make a mistake. Let's push on to the bishop. Let's take. He knows he wants this knight, but let's go here. Let's take. And shall we just uh, do a bit of an attack on the pawn? See if we can improve our position. Maybe a double. Maybe a double. It's just going to drop. Okay. See what the bishop wants to do. 137. Oh, nice one. Let's take with the king. Bit of an active king, this, isn't it? It's a bit too lively. And what's he think he's doing with this? Okay, let's go here. Let's take, get some protection. Uh, hoo -hoo, interesting, let's go for this pawn. My time is running down so much. Let's go here. Protects again with his rook. Whoo, so. Let's go here. Let's just say what you're doing with your king. Still coming in. It's an interesting situation. Let's go here. Uh, double here. 110. Come on, catch up on my time. Come on, pressure, pressure, pressure. As he just moved. Let's grab. Let's grab. It's got to go here, Auntie. Ooh, he's not done that. Maybe it doesn't because he just goes there. Each. I think. I think. I'm going to go here. Whew. I think he should have gone there. But I don't want him to go there. Come on, come on, come on. Time, time. Let's go. Oh, I'm hitting that dreaded. Oh, yeah. Having a laugh. Do the dreaded position. Let's go here takes with his rook 53 seconds pressure comes down for my king go up or down down oh i've given my rook Ooh, yeah. i gave my pawn up uh oops, do, do, do. no we can't even move we can't even move Maybe not. 
37 seconds. This is tight. Uh, let's go here. And uh, let's go here. Come on, come on, come on. 29 seconds. Oh my gosh. Uh, take maybe. He's not going to take it. Uh, okay, right. So move the king. Just move the king. It's going to be. It's going to be a draw. He's not going to want to draw though. No oh, mind, he might do because he's. Nineteen seconds. Oh no, it's not. He's won on time. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh, I don't know. Don't know if that was. I'm can't. I've not got enough time. Ah. <laughs> it's going to be a draw anyway. This pawn's too. Yeah, it's draw. We'll go for the draw. Yes. Woo! I lose, but it's a draw still. <laughs> All right. So that's not too bad. Still, mate. Yeah, draw. Whichever. Ah. <sighs> I survived. I've survived. All right, that's great. All right then. Um, I don't know if I'm. No, I'm not doing a rematch. Too good. I'm wondering what mouse I need to be using as well because I've got a mouse that's attached to the laptop, you know, via wire. Is that is that a? <laughs> hey, hey, do you use like a wireless wireless mouse, Julio? Because this, this mouse seems like it feels like it's really slow. Are the wireless ones faster? Are you still there? Hello? Well, my wireless mouse feels slow anyway. So let's see. Shall we go for a, one bullet one? Seeing as Julio requested bullet. I'm going to go for one bullet one, and we'll see how fast my mouse is. I haven't played bullet for a while, though, so we'll see. I like two-minute bullet, not this one-minute fast malarkey. Okay, um, I'm going to go for casual on that. Ah, you don't think it's faster? All oh, right, okay. Fair, it's just me, then. <laughs> right, I'm going for a casual bullet match, all right? Let's see how we do. Oh, what do you play with? Do you use your finger on the screen for bullet? Oh, here we go. I can't talk now. Two minutes. Oh, yes. That's a fantastic win. Wow, that's the fastest win ever. So I don't need to do any more now. Let's give it another go. I definitely couldn't do a uh, bullet on my phone, you know, just tapping in the moves that there's no way made I could do that. Okay, let's concentrate. Oh, let's go here. Oh, let's... There's no point going for any checkmates with bullet. All you have to do is just make a move. Oh, and his time's running down. That's all I look at. Just try to get their time down. I don't know. People go, well, you shouldn't do time planning. And all. I'm like, I don't, even, I don't care. <laughs> that's the game of chess. If the person can't manage the time, then that's cool. But there's no way made. I'm getting a checkmate unless, of course, there's something massively open, and that very rarely happens. Oh my gosh, he's attacking! He's making me go into their territory. I don't want that. I'm overextended. Oh my, what's the day is going on? Did he just flash something then? Was it a draw or something? I just made my move. Yes, Julio, I did my bullet match. Yeah, I don't care what the rating is on there. The guy could be a grandmaster and he's just playing around. But hey, what can you do? I did the bullet one. That's me. 
Um, I don't think I'm doing any more though. Um, yeah, no. Hmm. You actually in lie chess now? Give me a game. Give me a three minute casual. It's gone quiet. Okay, looks like I'm going in for another bullet one then, does it? Okay, not happy with that one. All right, then let's go. Let me get my book kicked now. Come on then. All the games that I hate playing. I've just got to immerse myself in the manta. You know, I can't stand them. I'm moving so fast. You're not, you've got no time to think of anything. You can't find position, nothing. I think it's probably the most ridiculous kind of chess you can play. I know there's people that say, well, the classical get concentrate. Right, just look at my time, just concentrate on my time. Try and do some half decent ish moves. Looks like there's signals going, disappearing. Hey, I must be getting in some luck here. Has somebody, um, highlighted my concerns <laughs> about the supers but this is not the way that i want to practice the stuff dudes claim victory okay let's go on to the next one right i'm waiting for my thrashing i want to practice this time burning thing yeah i know some people say classical chess is gone going out the window it isn't going out the window classical chess is what chess is this fast stuff is like you're not practicing the proper rudiments of the game. All you're doing is flashing moves around dead quick. Let's go in here. Let's grab. Let's take this knight. Let's bring the bishop. Let's castle. Let's bring the bishop out. Let's bring the knight out. Let's just bring this pawn up. Let's bring this bishop back. Let's bring this knight across. Let's <laughs> see look he's just dancing with the king now it's just time burning stuff let's push here and just push here my position is rubbish i don't even know what i'm doing with my position i'm just dancing around let's go here and let's go for this rook in the center now oh he's moved i hate that when i didn't see the moves let's just attack see he's just moving the knight backwards and forwards they're not doing anything definite just want you to just make a mistake and then they just come piling in my time has run down so fast. How has my time run down like that? Dear me, let's just do a simple thing. Has he moved? Let's go for the queen. Let's hope he forgets he's got the queen there. Okay, let's bring the bishop here for something to do. Now he's starting to he's starting to overthink, which is good. He's slowed down. Let's just bring the queen for something to do. Let's move this for something to do. He's trying to go for a checkmate type thing. And I think I've... Nope, there we go. That'll do for me. Let's take this off the board. Open up the king area. Bishop attacks. So he's going for it. 118 we're on. So now all I want to try and do is just sit back. I don't want to do anything. He's trying to get a win. And I'm actually just bringing here. And then I'm actually just gonna go oh he's got me all flustered ah let's go here opposite the king oh no i've lost my queen <laughs> okay no problems he could still lose damn i'm gonna let that happen go here i was so focused i was driven oh my god he's eating everything up oh oh that hurt that hurt okay that was a nice bullet one yeah that took me to the cleaners on that I was messing about right i want redemption come on this is the downhill slide now bullet i cannot stand it right redemption match no messing about now i don't see that challenge coming through julio what's the deal 
I'm going into a bullet one, so you'll have to wait if you're putting one in. Three minutes, zero. That'll work. Okay, let's concentrate. Simple. Just develop. Oh, steady on. Oops, it is it. Let them think, let them overthink. Okay, let's just grab this. Oh, let the time run, let the time run. Like he's creating something here. Should have actually moved the night, really, but never mind. <laughs> what was that? Am I missing something? Uh, he's upsetting me. What's happened why did he say that am i falling into a set plan thing that's oh he's giving stuff up he's giving stuff up now oh i think he made a mistake didn't he then obviously so he's now just giving stuff up okay redemption okay i'll take it i'll take it that's fine so what's next on the agenda? I'm not doing any more bullet. I'm not a bullet specialist. Although we're not doing too bad performing here. It's all it's all good, but still, phew, do not like it at all. So today was really about the blitz and looking at gelling the answer process, emotional content, as you can see. I can get quite emotionally involved in the moves, um, but in these quick games, it's no good. So I'm actually going to go in. No, I'm not. That's too risky, isn't it? Uh, it's too risky. I'm going to casual it. Uh, 25-0. Casual. Classical. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go for a nice long game. And see if we can practice. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the gremlins haven't come out and created the supers attacking me. Just leave me alone. Just be a normal person. So we want to look at practicing the answer process. The opponents are also using the answer process as well. It's not something that I've magically created to try and win games. I want to try and get advantages just like the, uh, the, the player wants to get advantages as well. So... The opponent so just bringing this knight out because we feel this is supporting and they're coming down with something big here with the pawns so in essence they haven't developed any of their key pieces it's really unusual move that that looks like it and another pawn move so they're not developing their minor pieces or major pieces currently doesn't mean they're rubbish though it just means it's a different way of operating it's got a two on one now on this pawn so we need to defend we're moving a bit quick, you know. This is a 25-minute game. Um, yeah, so defending here with the knight and the pawn at the minute. So feeling emotionally safe at this point in time. But my creative brain is going, getting in a bit of a panic because it's not had this pawn-type situation in its mental roller decks before. So what sort of strength does that give to the opponent? It's touching our pawn. We don't really like our pawns touching pawns, so keeping it simple as part of the answer process, simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board, strategically, hopefully, fingers crossed. Like I said, there's no guarantees of winning. It's a more improved performance. That's what I'm looking for. Could look to actually x-ray through, but his pawn is probably looking to attack us here. So we could move our knight here. 
his knight can't take, the bishop can take, can take with the pawn. Seems a doable thing. I need to get my pieces out into the game. So I think that is the type of thing I want to go for. Can really see this dropping. I said, like we go here. It's not dropped it just yet. So king safety is key. So let's get the king hidden away. So that's part of the proper answer process. If you're using chess properly, you want to get your king safe. What is my opponent planning? At this moment, it's not looking. Yes, now he's down. So now if we go here, his knight can take. And then we kind of lose a pawn in a sense. But then our bishop takes, his bishop, queen takes. What's the tempo like on that? I'm happy coming back. I'm not prob no problems with that. Can come here, but it's a bit um, strange looking. So if we went here, I believe the knight is taking. If we take, we're on his queen. His queen takes. And if we take, we're still losing the pawn in a sense, aren't we? Because of that. Yeah. Yeah. He takes, he takes, he takes, yeah, definitely losing that pawn. So happy to come back, to come here. No problems with that. Let's have a look at the benefits of this one. Not too much really, because I'm not actually attacking anything that is unprotected. So happy to come back, to come back in, out to come back in. So he's got a nice looking pawn type thing going in here you know this pawn chain but the head of the snake is easily dealt with um, and it usually falls fairly quickly um having a pawn chain especially like this with pieces not really supporting it i mean taking and then he takes back i suppose he's still there his knight is blocking the queen at the minute from protecting this pawn so he does take so we could take with the pawn or develop a piece i think i'm developing a piece try and get it into the action as best possible he hasn't castled as yet so i'm hoping guys ah, castled now i was going to say i'm hoping he keeps it there so we can keep putting pressure on them develop the rook our bishop is blocked in at the moment we could attack his pawn if he drops down then fair dues but then our bishop is in the game a little bit i'm actually going to attack the pawn just to give the bishop a bit of space. So it's got a nice diagonal where it can do some work. It was a little bit jammed in here. That's what I felt anyway, emotionally, that feels like the stronger move for myself. The opponent's probably got other ideas. So you have to be willing to accept that the opponent probably has better moves than you, yeah? But you've also got to accept that you're developing your own game as well. So you're enjoying how you're selecting your moves, how you're um, navigating around the board. And and that's, we're, we're covering like the 0 to 1800 mark, you know, type thing. So along the way, we are going to make errors. That's how you develop in chess. Um, you tell me a chess player that hasn't lost the game, then, you know, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'll give you a million pound and I don't even have a million pound but I'm willing to just say look there's not a player that hasn't lost a game in chess but the enjoyment of playing the game oh so he's not taken so we can take just to open up space for the queen opens up his rook because his rook's going to come here is he or maybe the knight's just going to take i'm actually simply taking because it's just getting in my way and it feels like it's clustering up my central processes okay so he's gone so we could now come to attack but then his bishop would take so we're not going to do that we could attack this side um bishop could get into the game a little bit attacking the knight uh, yeah, I think the bishop attacking the knight, getting it doing something, I think, it really needs to be in the game. Knight's protected by the pawn, knight's protected by the pawn and the queen. So it's a bit too much pressure at this minute. This knight can move, but he loses his queen. So we're trying to force, but not force. We're just playing it from around the center. As we've mentioned in the previous videos, we don't like to control the center. We like to manage around the center as best possible. 
might be a strange psychology, but yeah, um, I know loads of books and people say, yeah, you've got to be controlling that center with all your palms or whatever it is. Um, but I found a different way is, oh, we could now. So this is an interesting thing because we could take his knight, then his queen takes, then our queen takes, and then his knight takes. So that's not really nice, is it? If we take, his knight takes, then we go for a queen exchange, don't we? Or maybe his queen just takes. But if his queen takes, then he loses this knight. So I'm actually taking because it seems to be causing some confusion somewhere. And I'm a simple guy. Is my king home alone? So he does actually go for the knight taking. So it looks like it's a exchange type situation. He's got these bishops just chomping at the bit to just come blasting in here. It looks like a probably a simple exchange thing, but he might not want to exchange. He might not want to be arty and do something whizzy. So he's moved on to our bishop. So we'll take that. But it doesn't mean anything just because you've won the rook. You might, you're up the exchange, but that's about it. Same amount of pieces because he's going to get the bishop off the board. So this is why I'm not celebrating anything. He's got these nice bishops. Oh, looks like they've kind of resigned. Well, that's a damn shame. I want to play it through. Just because you lose a rook don't mean you've lost the game. Let's have a look at the analysis. Oh, I'm a bit upset now. Right, okay, let's just have a look at the analysis. Where are we at? It's not even moving. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, Rook can take or the Knight can take, whichever. I don't like playing against the computer, but I think a human would just take the Bishop here. Obviously, we're looking to trade down, so we would just bring the Rook to a challenge it to see where it wants to go. Uh, I'm not playing the computer. Yeah, so we're winning, but still, you can still play on even though you do lose a piece. It's like a piece for a piece. So it's changing that mindset, you know, and um, to say, well, okay, I have lost a piece, but with the pieces I've got, what can I actually do? Okay. I think that's my session done. Um, I don't want to over-egg anything. It's been an interesting session. And the gremlins haven't come out to get me today, which is really quite pleasing. And, um, Julio, I'm going to catch you on the flip. All right. Um, are you, when's your, when's your next stream anyway? Crikey's sake. If, that's if you're still there. I don't know if you're still there. Have you gone? I think you've gone. Okay. Nice one. So I think that's it for me today. We've covered all of the aspects that I wanted to cover. And basically in a nutshell, the whole answer process has come to not a conclusion so far, but from the evaluation of my own personal games, uh, games, I've basically looked at all the different little strategies that we've talked about. And the last one is like the emotional content. You know, why is it that basically um, I'm making a certain move in a certain way? And initially it was, oh, well, we're doing the four move called calculation. That should see us through. But then I've said, no, it's not just that. It's about looking at the potential value of the move that you've selected from your calculation. And then from that, you have to then use your knowledge of what you know about the chess player or the moves on the board and how is it making you feel. From that moment on, that is the, that is the thing that drives you to actually make you move. You're emotional. That's why every game of chess is different. Because every move that every player is making, there's an emotional connotation in there. If you're trying to be really, what's the word now, scientific and systematic about it, then your game is a little bit dry. When the emotion kicks in, that's why you have so many different variables to the games. Because everybody is different and everybody will have a different opinion of why they've done their move in a certain way. That's all I need to say. Cheers.